I was always called the black girl. It hurt me because, like, I'm more than just my skin tone. When it Zimbabwean, Samoan, Tongan, and Tukalawan. Born in Chicago, but now I live in Rotorua. In Africa, there's a desert that I'm named after that <laughs> excites me. My favorite thing about being Samoan and Tongan, there's a lot of different delicious foods that my granddad can cook. And sometimes my friends ask me to say some stuff in different languages, and I can learn those. Even though it's different, it makes me feel special to have my hair. I used to tie my hair back and put, put a hoodie on when I went out to public because I didn't want people to give me weird looks. But now it looks like everyone's doing their hair like this. I can wear my hair like this and feel like I'm like everyone else. One time in Invercargill, I was going to a park and there were these three boys there and they told me I couldn't play because of my race and I wasn't allowed at the park. I was really sad. That night I cried myself to sleep, but I didn't show that I was sad to my mum because I didn't want her to be sad. So, yeah, I usually keep my feelings to myself, but now I'm here. When she was about two, a child had called her a nigger at her play centre. She's been targeted over rumours, comments, just compared to like a black felt, a monkey. She wasn't the first baby. <laughs> I hate that she has to go through this. I love my kids. The only thing I do for them is for them. Ain't gonna let you rain on my parade no more. Most of the time, I don't want to yell back at them or say stuff that I have in my head because I don't want to hurt their feelings. Uh, because I don't want to make the situation worse. I buy a lot of journals so I can write in them. I can get everything off my chest and I can take my anger out or my emotions out in my journal. I have a page where I write down positive things about myself and I write down positive quotes and it just makes me feel better. When I came over to New Zealand, you know, it was something I never thought that would happen. Uh, there's a lot of people who are going through what Sahara is going through and what we are still going through and what we went through. How do you feel about your daughter raising awareness around racism? It's absolutely good. It's something I, I sort of failed to do myself. With us, just because we have grown up, we sort of lived for a long time with it. Sahara's going to come across this throughout her whole life. It's really important to <laughs> not victimise her, but I think it's also important for this to be a conversation. I have always been quite vocal with no filter. We're Pacific Islanders. <laughs> It started off just being an avenue for her to express herself, but people have contacted me and said they've been through the same thing. Nice to see other people with the same hair as me, um, going through the same situation, so they don't feel that like they're alone. One time I came home, I was crying and I just went straight on to TikTok and I was going on these African TikTok creators and they're talking about um, what happened to them when they were younger growing up. It just made me feel like they were talking to me and they're comforting me because I don't have many African friends. Learning the new dances, it takes those negative thoughts off my mind. 
so it helps me and it makes me feel like I'm not alone. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> No, no. Yeah, I love my school. Up here there's Fijian kids, there's African kids, Māori kids. They like me for who I am. Sahara is readily accepted into our school and she's very comfortable with her own identity as well, being Samoan and Zimbabwean. Um, she's a strong young woman and she's able to share part of herself with our students. As a school we learn about our whakapapa, our genealogy, and by knowing ourselves we can project ourselves to te ao and the wider world and embrace all of the other cultures throughout the world. I'm in awe of her. She handles it with grace. I just want her to love herself and I think she does. And you know, everything that we've done has really empowered her. I love being mixed because then it's like I'm not basic. I've got a whole bunch of different stuff to learn. I always have something new to learn every single day. I just love being mixed, yeah.